So based off this paper I read really quickly, I put together some graphene and some silly putty in kind of a weird way. I tested out a bunch of different mixtures. This one that's sitting here in this glove is the most sensitive so far. It can even detect me breathing. So that's not even the glove moving, because I can, I can, well, it's actually very sensitive to the glove's movement, but it doesn't work if I just blow over here. If I blow directly on the silly putty, it goes off and it goes really well. And there's virtually no noise, except there's actually ambient breezes that come through here, and if they're strong enough, um, it actually causes it to go off just a hair. Um, but right now, it's completely fine. So and this is just a lump of black dough hooked up as a resistive sensor with a potentiometer as the other part of the voltage divider and feeding right into my Arduino. And I have a little tone going off. I have a little bit of filtering that I'm doing. But you can see how crazy sensitive that is. I'm just barely breathing on it. Here's like a... Light, little blow. Touching it. Really triggers it. You can see the data I'm getting. And as an extra filter for the blowing sensor, you can even put it underneath the glove and it can still record me blowing from this side of it, as well as very light touches. This is just like a little stringy piece of wood. I'm just touching this thing as lightly as possible. And you can hear the way it senses that. Touching it a lot harder. Touching it just barely. And the cool thing, another cool thing about it is that this weird dough, it's kind of self-healing. It can get squished up and change shapes, do whatever we want, and it'll stay nice and sensitive. It actually loses a lot of its conductance when it's changing shape, but then it self-heals back up to its original conductance. This right here is about 300 ohms, um, which is crazy good for a little lump of dough that I mixed up together. This is me touching it as lightly as possible. So it can detect hard movements as well as extremely soft ones, which is really cool. Um, I even tried it with ants. My ants ran away and I put the other one back so they aren't here anymore, but you can see the other videos. But this is just one that I whipped up with sound to show how well it works. And here I'll even poke on the raw side again so you can see the goo a little bit more. This is me touching it just as lightly as possible. I'm gonna get really good readings very little noise whatsoever and it's just my first little try crazy All right, here's just like a little hair of wood so it can't get that just like that's basically like a hair right there but it was getting ant legs and things slightly bigger. That's even thinner. Here's a one step above that, just like a tiny, slightly larger hair of wood. There we go. It's even picking that up. 